today's project, or this morning's project, it's a FISPA. It's a SUP 150. It's a Ferrari 250, 275, and 330. Similar to the um, to the AC type B pump with this three screw cover and six screws holding it down it's got all the valves and everything underneath here let's give it a go first order of business is going to be to mark the clock position You don't want to use a center punch. You can mark this any way you want, just as long as you get it back the same way it came apart. And to remove these screws, and that'll show you where the valves are. Each one of the valves is held down by a spring. Here's your fuel filters. Nothing wrong with those, so we'll be using those again. Get a gasket up here. what the valves look like. They're down inside here. And like I said, each one's being held down by a spring. And a pretty hefty spring too. They're pretty strong. Well, we gotta get them out of there. We're gonna replace them with a different style spring. and a different style valve. There's the valves in there. These are the, I'd have to say they're the outlets. Nope, the other side is. Fuel's gonna come up and go out. These are the inlet. Oh yeah, E stands for inlet. Or in. in the bottom of the valves, you even got a seal. Looks like it could be a fiber seal. Could even be a rubber seal. Yeah, it is rubber. This side uses a seal that's down inside of here. That's how that one seals. Ours are going to seal with a, with a paper washer. Yeah, seal on that. Now we've got to remove these six screws.
careful on the last one. You don't need this casting going flying up in the air. Three screws. And just like the type B ACB pumps, type A, type B AC pumps, use a spring and a cup. And that holds the pressure for the arm. Now there's a spring underneath here, which you can't see. But again, just like the type B pumps, you got to remove. The Jesus clip. And slide that pin out. It's a pretty tough spring. Let me work on this and, and then I'll come back. Okay, we're going to get it out this way. Maybe. Diaphragm, spring, and the oil seal. Kind of resembles a, um, a valve seal. We gotta clean all this grease out of here. And we can take it through the glass beater. We'll be back. Now that everything's been bead blasted and all the surfaces have all been flattened out, it's time to put the diaphragm in and the seal. Let's see if we can't do this. It's not going to be kind to me. I think I might need some persuasion to get that pin on all the way. Well, I got it on. It was no easy task. Set that aside. Time for the valves. <clears throat> now you remember the old one, the valves had the seals on the end of them. This is, these are our valves. If you look real close, if I can get in there, right? There's a step right in here. And that step is to hold the spring. If you look at the end of the spring, it flares out. The last two coils are larger to fit over that and stay away from the, the plate inside. Now the way that I handle these, you got a smaller hole and a bigger hole. We have two different seals. Put the large seal down inside on both of them. Now two of these valves 
I should have showed you this before. But two of these, you're going to get two of each. One with a step here, one with a step on the opposite side. The smooth side goes down. On this big, no, I lied. The smooth side goes down, but the valve goes in this way. With that shoulder, the, the undercut up at you. Sorry about that. Now on the small side, use the smaller gasket. A smaller seal, I should say. Now this one goes this way. With all the valves, both all four valves put in. You want to take the spring, set it on top. Do all four springs. I had mentioned earlier when I was taking this apart that about the the uh, two filters. Well, unfortunately, using our springs, these filters no longer fit. So it'll have to be a external filter, an inline filter. <coughs> now you get three screws. <coughs> Excuse me. I like to get them started in here. Kind of holds everything together. Set it right on top. And press it down. Just get them caught because <clears throat> you want to you want to pull this down even. Keep from distorting it. Make sure these go down nice and tight. But just keep in mind that you're working with a 1032 screw or whatever the equivalent is in metric. You don't want to strip the screws through the threads. That should be all set right there. See the underside? You want to make sure that these Valves are sitting right in the center. Hmm. You can test it by trying to <coughs> suck air out of here and blow air in. You shouldn't be able to blow air in, but you'll be able to pull it out. Same thing with this one. You shouldn't be able to suck air out as the valve closes down. And if there's any leaks, just move that valve around a little bit. You push it against the spring. It's just not sitting straight. But this one came out good. Time for assembly. Look for your index mark. So this goes right back on. 
Now there's still the three screw cover that goes on the bottom, but we're going to hold off on that because we're going to need somehow of pulling that diaphragm down inside. And by having that off, you can you can reach the links underneath <coughs> with a screwdriver rather than trying to push the arm in up here, which isn't very easy to do. So. Let's get these screws in. We got one screw with an issue. Maybe the washer. Yeah, it's all flared out on the side. It won't go in that spot. We're going to swap it off with one of these up top. In the meantime, we'll put the other ones in. Okay, swapped out the screws, ran them down just till they touch. There's still room there. Now I want to catch the link underneath with the screwdriver. And I don't think you'll be able to see it. I have to use the smaller screwdriver. Pushing that link down, pulls the diaphragm in, and preloads it. We have to use the big screwdriver. Probably shouldn't be. It doesn't really fit it that good. Get a different screwdriver. Okay, much better. Tighten up the screws. Keep pressure on that link. Okay, let's do a test. Make sure that it is creating a vacuum and pressure. And it is. Now for this cover. easier to leave this upside down. Turn the pump to it. And you drop the screw.
snug them up. Put your gasket on, and she's ready for that Ferrari. Be nice if the customer asked me if I wanted to take it for a ride. Mm-hmm. Thanks.